I just don't believe it. You believe it? That makes three tests. God, we are such idiots. Honestly, I'm not ready to be a father. No, and I'm not really ready to be a mother. So... 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 Well, I'm just... I'm just gonna say it. I think that we should get an abortion. It's the right thing to do. You are 100% right. I'll take care of it. This is a man's world! Congressman, a comment on today's bill. Well, I would say that bipartisanship is rare these days, but I'm glad that we could come together as two parties and protect the man's right to choose. Ooh, another Groupon for an abortion. Don't mind if I dip it do. Wow, that really is an excellent deal. That means there's no need for parental consent. Right this way. Hey, you guys got some change, fellas? I uh, spent the last of my abortion money on an e-cigarette and a tall boy. Hey, it's homeless Reggie. You old hoe bag? How many is it for you this month? Uh, I said four. Hmm. Five, I think. And were you surprised by the outcome of today's vote as far as extending the termination period right up until labor? Not at all. After all, I think you can't consider a fetus alive till it's out of our bodies walking and talking. Uh, yeah, but I'm a little preoccupied at the minute. Oh, you're hooping at three? Uh, yeah, count me in. It's right there in the Bible. Genesis, chapter 1, verses 26 through 28. Mankind was given domain over the earth. Where does she get off? I don't know. And not only does she suggest we keep it, she demanded we keep it. It is our pleasure and responsibility to rule over everything. I don't know what these women are thinking. If they had to do all this themselves, huh, we would 100% respect their decision. And that includes our bodies. All forms of birth control and pregnancy termination. Don't you dare get an abortion. On an empty stomach, we got slices, we got ices, coupons, guys. Come on. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for an appointment at the clinic. Um, and as far as including abortion as a, a covered item in the Health Care Act? Well, we have to take care of our citizens' health care needs. Well, I can't tell you how long I dreamt of this day. First abortion. Hmm. You're becoming a man. Dad, I don't think I want to do this. <laughs> That's hilarious. You're funny. Uh, hey, don't be silly. One more. I get one for free. Glove member. Pregnancy is and should always be a part of a man's health care. Oh, yes. Push, Steve. I need you to push, I okay? I need you to breathe. Give me more drugs, give me more drugs. As should birth control. Now, we're late for a mill signing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Congressman. I cannot give you any more drugs. It's not safe, okay? Just push. You know what? I'm good on this. Thanks, though. You are sure? Yeah, I'm just gonna do one of those late turn thingies or whatever. No big deal. <laughs> I really thought today was gonna be the day. This is a man's world! But it wouldn't be nothing, nothing! Tune in later tonight when celebrity guest Daniel Dumfrey will be joining us, the youngest person on earth, turning 11, live on air tonight. Without a woman or a girl.